He's taking this uh, formation, etc., and the personnel changes uh, on himself, and he is being the lead spokesman, you could say, out of the three so far, whereas the Spaniards have a slightly uh, more uh, relaxed and unity about them. They, they seem to make the decisions together, and possibly we will see whether it is team versus the man in this final. Our final uh, high fives and handshakes, but the final is upon us here, live from Berlin, who will become kings of Europe in the next 10 or so minutes. Might be longer if we go to extra time and penalties. Thousands Something we haven't seen. We haven't seen yet. We've come close to it. We haven't seen a red card either. All these things can happen. A thousand World Tour ranking points up for grabs, but more important, it is about the trophy, it is about the glory, and who's going to get there? Arsenal against Arsenal once again, and we are underway. And it is uh, broken silence in the uh, changed Arsenal strip of blue. And Shadow Hunters in the red, kicking from left to right, and immediately on the attack here, uh, twisting and turning, and looking for a pass, which they found in towards Danny Welbeck here. Half a chance, Petr Cech makes the save. Yeah, it looked like Petr Cech didn't really want to come for that. He, he dealt on that, he dwelt on that, should I say, for far too long and just managed to uh, grab the ball at the last possible opportunity. If you are a little bit confused, uh, of course, try and remember that the Spaniards are playing in the home Arsenal red. Of course, like Spain, as there's a big chance here and headed away for uh, Shadow Hunters to try and counter, but it's back in Broken Sonic's possession. That was a chance. Maitland Niles, no way through for him. Granite Xhaka. Now, Shadowhunters played in red in the semi-final as well. Maybe a good omen. Mesut Ozil on that left foot. Lovely ball. Maitland-Niles takes it down. And the chance comes and goes. We have seen that both of these teams have started strongly, especially in the semi-finals. Uh, more so for Broken Silence. Of course, the opening goal that uh, Shadowhunters got was an equalising goal, but it was early nevertheless. We have a goalless game so far in the opening 10 minutes, but it's been full of action so far. Yeah, it certainly has. 11 minutes of this final have gone in the co competition. Make the Niles again. I think it's been a better start by Broken Silence. Here's Danny Welbeck. Excellent ball. It's a goal. Obama Yang scores. First blood to Broken Silence. And look what it means. Yeah, the first blood is blue blood. And of course, what a header it was. We've seen it time and time again, and especially from Broken Silence, using the wide areas, using the heading prowess of Aubameyang in the centre. I'm not quite sure whether it was Aubameyang, but certainly it was somebody in there with a towering header. And we'll just get clarification as the ball went down the left-hand side. A lovely run, and uh, I believe I was correct as he ran into the side netting to celebrate. He was that excited because that might be a massive goal in the scheme of things, Chris. Danny Welbeck stood it up. Aubameyang finished. Ran into the post, but he won't mind. There's the trademark celebration. And it is advantage. Broken silence in this final. 13 minutes. Unlucky for some, unlucky for Shadow Hunters. And they're under pressure again with Henrik Mukitarian. Can they uh, score a second in quick succession? Bear it. Forward to uh, Mukitarian again. Lovely step over. Back to Hector Bayerit, who's dispossessed well. And Arsenal uh, will try and break, or Shadow Hunters will try and break. They've got a, a man in the middle, which is uh, Lacazette. Here is Alexander Lacazette. The shot might be on here. Lacazette going the uh, long way round, and Kalasinac did his job very well. Still, though, it is there. Kalasinac once more. That is brilliant defending. Yeah, Mkhitaryan had the chance on the edge of the air, actually, if the ball could be uh, pulled back to him. But the, uh, in the end, the pass never came. And what is interesting now is that Shadow Hunters will have to come from behind yet again, as they did in the semi-finals. We know they can do it. Uh, Broken Silence will know they can do it. So they will be in search of a second goal cushion as well. So it's still going to be, I would imagine, pretty end-to-end -end as we tick towards the halfway stage in the first half. Hell for leather, most definitely. Came from behind twice in the semi-finals, as you mentioned, and won it 3-2. They're going to have to do it the hard way again. Bayerin, that's an excellent ball. Mkhitaryan, Aubameyang in the middle. Can he pick out Aubameyang? Yes, he can! What, what a save! save. Petr Cech. What a save, and another save. We've said it a couple of times today. A save from the Czech Republic International uh, that might potentially be so crucial in the scheme of things. It was in the last time. Uh, it might be again today because there's a counter-attack on for Shadow Hunters. Uh, good defending in the end just to hold him up, waiting for support here and running out of options and running out of time on the counter-attack as the ball trickles out of play for what looks like a goal. No, it did take a nick off the defender and the first 
corner for Shadow Hunters. Yeah, which is going to be taken by Henrik Mukatarian, who took over Alexi Sanchez, is number seven, and he crosses in dangerously. I thought for a moment there was going to be a chance back to Mukatarian. Second corner in quick succession. Good response this from Shadow Hunters. And Henrik Mukatarian is poised again. He will deliver. They got their equaliser from a corner in the last game. And Czech looked uh, not too convincing there. Mukatarian wants more, but Bearin is in. And Maitland Niles will launch the counter attack here for the uh, visiting Arsenal team. That's an excellent pass to Danny Welbeck. They're playing some brilliant stuff. And now Obama Yang. Urzel's in the middle. Here's Mesut Urzel. Looks for Kalasanach. Kalasanach uh, might get it again. Tell you what, Obama could have shot there. He certainly could. And we've seen sometimes today that final pass has worked on this occasion. Uh, pulling the trigger might have been the better option. They do have a corner and they have boss possession. 58% they've had in the opening half an hour. But crucially, just the one goal in front after that. Uh, sorry to keep going on about it, but what an important save it was from Pedacek for Shadow Hunters. They've taken this one short to Granite Xhaka. Xhaka to the byline. Aubameyang again. He's in the double. Broken silence in control. Are they closing in on glory in Berlin? Wow, incredible mixed emotions for Shadow Hunters because they were bailed out by their goalkeeper just five minutes earlier. And this time it looked like the chance was going to be saved again, but it squirmed under his body and into the back of the net. And a despondent trio of Spaniards. And it is Alex Algathiel who is flying the Spanish flag at this moment in time alongside two Italians. And they are certainly the team to beat so far in the co-ops as they sail to a two-goal lead. His aerial prowess today, Aubameyang, has been the difference in so many matches. And you mentioned in the semi-final, if Lionel Messi had have had that, uh, this might not be the final, but it is. And one uh, team from Arsenal is in control, and it is the, the travelling side as Ozil tries to get there. Next goal surely has to be for Shadowhunters, otherwise they are staring at second place. Danny Welbeck leads the charge, looking for Aubameyang. Won't reach him. But it might do now because Mesut Ozil has it. Eight minutes to go until half time. Make the Nars, there's so much space for broken science. Broken science? Broken silence. There's nothing broken about their science, that's for sure. It's brilliant. <laughs> Henrik Mukatarian twisting and turning. And he might cross this in again for Aubameyang. It's Make the Nars who was up there. Comes back to Kalasanic, they just can't get the ball. They Shadow really Hunters. are putting on the squeeze now in search of this third goal. And crucially, Shadow Hunters, if they are to get out of this, will have to do something they have never done so far today. And that has come from a two goal deficit behind to come back to level. They've, of course, done it from one goal, but not two. And they could be three down here as Danny Welbeck goes in again. And it's another cross, it's another header, and it's a third goal for Broken Silence. And surely, Chris. Uh, apart from a massive landslide, it, it's all over surely now. I think we have our champions. Certainly that expression tells the story. Another header, as you said, this time from Mesut Ozil. A nightmare of a first half for Shadowhunters. A dream opening period for Broken Silence. We'll see the goal again. It's 3-0. Remember, Shadowhunters came into this game having won every match on their way to the final. Yeah, and uh, what is interesting again is how poor the marking was in the centre there. As the ball came across, he had absolutely acres of space inside the six-yard box. And that is, of course, one of the problems with co-op. Of course, you have to rely on your teammates to get the right positioning if you're pulled out of position. And that's exactly what happened. And they have been made to pay in the most ruthless fashion on the uh, on right at the end of the first half. Well, they love a three. Three goals scored in the 13th, the 33rd, and the 43rd minute. Wow. Shadow Hunters need something before the break, and they're looking to get it now as they go for a cross themselves. But that's how to defend the ball. There was about four or five blue shirts who were chasing for it. And then Kisielny knocks it up over halfway. As first halves go in a final, that is dreamy for broken silence. It certainly is, and it, we wouldn't be surprised if, if we were told that Broken Silence would be leading at half-time. What we are incredibly surprised about is the, the actual manner in which they've done it. Three goals to the good, a stunning attacking performance so far from the trio, and uh, something that Shadowhunters have just been unable to deal with. Well, what on earth do they do now at the break? The three Spaniards, we're back underway. Second 45 as uh, Make the Niles looks for Danny Welbeck straight out of play but they can also employ a time-wasting tactics like that as well because they're 3-0 to the good 
We saw them showboat a bit in the group stages and the semi-final when they had the advantage. I wonder how they'll play this. Will we see the, the twists and the turns and the spins or will we see a more workmanlike see it through performance? Well, I think this is where, like I mentioned, Luca Tobelli will come in. He, he gives the team balance uh, and certainly they won't they won't be too over elaborate, but they will, of course, with Alex Algathiel. I'm sure there'll be a chip at some point during this next 45 minutes. Of course, we will see, or we will need to see, a massive, massive second half performance from Shadowhunters because it looks like this ship has sailed. The opening 10 minutes of this second half will be so crucial. Here's Mesut Ozil. He's got three in support. There is the chip. Aubameyang. Not quite, but I think uh, Alex Agathea was uh, was toying with shadow. He was there. lining up a chip there for sure. Interesting as well, uh, and we'll get into analysis after the game, but we've uh, concentrated on Etorito and Alex Agathea a lot. There is, of course, a third member of this team who we must not forget, and he's uh, doing some defending at the moment. Is that offside or is it a free kick? It's a free kick, I think. Welbeck was felled. And we mentioned before the game, we've also mentioned it during the game as well. They have the two, they are the two star names in that trio, but they are nothing without Luca Tubelli as well because he gels them so well together and they have such an amazing balance as they again get that defensive block in that interception right at the death. And it was Tubelli who made that. Well, that, that's the balance that you talk about because so many teams would have conceded there, but they seem to have the, the Midas touch. Here's Mustafi with some defending. Again, Mustafi there. Last ditch saloon, man. It was absolutely brilliant again. 3-0 to the good in the final. More one-sided than, uh, than I think anybody predicted. Shadowhunters, though, came from behind twice. They scored three goals in the semi-finals. They must get three here as uh, Mustafi will head that away again. Not conclusively controlled down. It just wouldn't happen there. That might have been the chance they needed to take. Yeah, time running out. Half an hour remaining here. You feel that if they to get anything, they need a goal within the next five minutes or so. Otherwise... Uh, the clock will certainly be against them as it's fired in. It took a ricochet and it's bobbled around the edge of the box. But again, they are there resolutely broken silence and there's nothing that Shadowhunters can do to break them at this moment in time. Aubameyang leading the counter-attack. Seems amazing to think they conceded those three goals uh, in the group stage when we saw it in 10 minutes. They've been so good since as Aubameyang picks out Mkhitaryan. Here's Mesut Ozil. Danger is not yet over. Ozil. The German international, no way through, but that was close as Santi Cazorla. No, Granite Xhaka slides in. It's a foul, but it's a, it's a good foul to give away. It certainly is, and he was a hair's breadth away from giving them a 4-0 uh, scoreline. Oh, we've got a bit of a breather because it's been absolutely breathless. Again, here in the final in Berlin of the Europe round of the World Tour here at PES 2018. Yes, yeah, some, uh, some tinkering going on for the team who are... 3-0 down, Shadowhunters, look at that, Broken Silence just sitting there, happy as Larry, and, uh, and who can blame them, and exactly how the Shadowhunters get back into this game, they're going to need an extraordinary turnaround, one which looks very, very unlikely as things stand. Yeah, they're trying to change the formation, they are going with the diamond that wasn't successful for their opponents in the semi-final against them, they're hoping that it might change proceedings here, but it would take a absolute catastrophe if broken silence were to give this away now yeah it would it would take a lot of magic and also uh, some mistakes definitely from the the two italians and the one spaniard on the bottom left of your screen closing in on victory and glory here in berlin at the end of what's been a memorable co-op competition once again and they're going to be the first uh, european winners of the co-op given this is the first year Absolutely, and it will see them through to the World Finals with a 1,000 points on the board. Of course, we don't know quite yet whether their finalists will be joining them on 600 as the, uh, the mathematicians will be working then sums to bring you that information, hopefully as soon as we can get it, as there's a chance here on the counter-attack for Broken Silence again, but they've played the balanced game. They're not rushing anything. They don't need anything. They are 3-0 to the good. And uh, the chance did end up being uh, broken down, but they will be more than happy with proceedings after 67 minutes for sure. Yeah, they were. It's, uh, it's probably wasted about five minutes of the game as well. In, well not wasted from their point of view, but uh, eaten up time. They could have gone for the counter-attack. They played it safe, and why not a 3-0 up with uh, 22 minutes left as uh, Shadowhunters desperately try and uh, scramble the ball into the box, bearing away. It's a dangerous ball. It's cleared now up to Lacazette. 
Shadowhunters with uh, enough of the ball here as the Bamiyang wins another crucial header. Their, their defensive side has been exemplary in this game. Another defensive header is one. And then Welbeck gets his toe in. There's just nowhere for Shadowhunters to go. Koscielny comes in and wins the ball. Welbeck feeds it out to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Lacazette and Mkhitaryan in support. Welbeck is back there. They, they seem to be in cruise control in this final. Yeah, they of course have the icon of the European flag as their main uh, sort of icon, like I mentioned, and they are showing real unity here in the final to shut up shop uh, with a 3 0 scoreline so far. It looks like this game is well and truly done, and perhaps not the final we were expecting. It has been so one sided and so surprising how well they have performed against a team, as you mentioned, who have won every single game en route to the final. Extraordinary set of circumstances. Ten minutes to go, and it's getting to the stage. If they don't score in this attack, it will be impossible for them to score three goals as Bayerin again mops up, fires the ball forward towards Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Everything's going their way. It's broken silence ball, and I think we can say they're going to be champions. Yeah, they are some, some team. Eto Rito, Alex Algathiel and Luca Tubelli making up a trio which has well and truly taken this Europe round by the scruff of the neck and they have delivered some knockout blows along the way but none more so than this final. It's been absolutely spellbounding to watch, hasn't it? They've saved their best two performances for the semi-finals and the final and that's what you need to do. Here is Willock, Aubameyang, it could get better as well. Lacazette's in the middle if Aubameyang can get there. Not quite, but again... Uh, they've won the ball and the ball is exactly where they are and where legends are made how out that is because uh, these three have been brilliant jack wilshit another cross into the box willock will pick it up lovely reverse pass to kolasinac wasn't the best ball but time is up here pretty much shadow hunters uh, if they got a goal it would surely only be a consolation they might just get it as well here is lacazette oh it gets in the way oh. squirm goalwards and wide yeah, that pretty much sums up their final, unfortunately. Just not quite on the same wavelength right in that final third. The final pass came in eventually after a little ricochet, and then the actual block came in, which sent it wide for a corner. And, uh, yeah, this game is well and truly petering out here as the 3-0 scoreline remains as Pedacek punches clear. Strong punch from uh, Czech. It's kept in play here. No, it's not. Henrik Mkhitaryan couldn't quite get there, and we're approaching the 90-minute mark. It is uh, Hector Bayerin who's just going to take his time here. He's going to go for another long throw, hurl it forward towards uh, Lacazette. It's a lovely flick on towards Mkhitaryan. Two minutes have added on time. Koscielny is there. So is Kolasinac. Will it will clear. We've had one of the two added on. Lacazette flicks it on. They're almost there. A broken silence. Now Granite Xhaka, history makers. Broken Silence become the first co-op champions of Europe in PES 2018. Congratulations to them. Fully deserved a 3-0 win against Shadow.